Hi guys, in this video I want to talk about a winter in Canada and what do you have to do in order to prepare for long winter in Canada. Yes, in Canada winter can be very very long in most provinces with the exception of British Columbia. They are lucky to have a mild winter and don't usually don't get a lot of snow in Vancouver area. But in other provinces like Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, etc., we have a long winter. Some longer, some shorter, but still long and pretty cold winter. So what do you have to do in order to prepare yourself for these gloomy and cold days? Well, actually, that's another thing that I like about winter in Canada, that it's not always gloomy, particularly here in Ontario, in Toronto area. Winter could be pretty shiny, pretty bright, but still very cold. So what do you do? First and foremost, you have to prepare your clothes. You have to have a proper clothes because there is no bad weather if you have a proper clothes. What you have to do is to buy decent, warm and really nice jacket. Some people prefer to uh, buy cheaper jackets and then replace it every season. We have a different approach in our family. We uh, like to pay a little bit more maybe pay premium, but to get uh, better quality uh, brands, better quality clothes, so you can wear it for a long period of time. Uh, let's take this quote as an example. This is Arterix uh, Term Parka. I have this great quote for about three years already, and I still wear it and I still love it. It's a really great quote for Canadian winter. It has vortex, it's windproof, waterproof, and it has a really nice insulation. Uh, the jacket is pretty warm and for the most average uh, Canadian winter temperature this coat would do a job very well. So um, it's not cheap. The price for this coat is $8.50 Canadian dollars, which is not cheap uh, considering you have to pay tax, taxes on top. So it comes to really, really high, it comes to really high price. But considering that you buy this jacket and you can wear it for at least two or three seasons at least, but I expected to wear this coat for about five seasons at least, maybe even more, because it's already past three seasons and I'm pretty happy with the coat and I'm still trying to wear it this upcoming season, so it's gonna be fur. And I really love the coat, it's really great. Uh, that's what you get when you're paying a little bit more, but you're getting a great product, great quality product. Another uh, thing you have to have you have, to pay, you have to have a very good boots for a winter in Canada. Uh, it's not the best example, I just love these boots because uh, it serves the purpose for me, for the most part. I wear Blundstone boots uh, almost uh, through the winter exclusively. Uh, I have two pair of them, different uh, style, and they serve, me, they serve me very well. But there are some different boots that will be much warmer for uh, colder days. You can walk for a long period of time. Uh, during snow uh, and you will be fine. So, uh, for example, Sorel, they make a very great boots. Uh, you can check them out. They are uh, not cheap as well, but they really good boots. You can have them for your long walks. Another thing you have to check, you have to take care of your car and you have to get your uh, winter tires. If you don't have one, I highly recommend to get winter tires because they will serve you at least two, three seasons, but they will protect you on the slippery roads. Your car will be behaving much better than on a regular uh, all-season tires. Here in Canada, we have all-season tires. By default, uh, when you buy a car, when you rent a car, by default, you get an all-season tires. But uh, winter tires are a really great uh, thing to have for winter. Another thing about a car, if you uh, have one, if you drive a car, and uh, especially if it's not new car, if it's used already and if it's older car, it's a good idea to check the health of your car so you won't be stranded, you will be sure that you won't be stranded on the road. Because again, conditions during winter could be different and difficult and difficult to drive. Uh, so winter tires will help and the overall health of the car will help as well and um, we will reduce the probability that you will be stuck somewhere on the road. Another thing that they want to say about the car, make sure that you have enough fluids uh, in your compartments in the car, make sure that you have uh, some extra uh, washing fluid, uh, winter washing fluid, not the summer one. 
So you would have to use a lot of windshield fluid. So it's a good idea to have an extra bottle uh, with you in your trunk all the time. Uh, so you can top, it, top up whenever you want. It's a very dangerous situation when you can't clean your windows and you on the road and you on the highway and snow is around and uh, it's just getting dirty and uh, that's a very, very bad situation to be in. So this is an important thing to know uh, as well. Those are the things that is good to know to prepare yourself for Canadian winter. Another thing that I want to mention, uh, if you don't like winter, I know some people, they complain about winter, they don't like winter, especially sometimes it could be really long winter in Ontario, it could go up to April, for example, and you, you can, we can have a snow in May as well. It's not fun. In order to uh, go through the winter with um, better mental health, I would say, find some uh, great winter outdoors activities that you will like. For example, we as a family have a few activities that we could do together. Uh, we do skating and we do skiing. And it's a really, really great uh, fun. And it helps us to spend time together, quality time together as a family on the slopes or on a skate rink. And uh, it helps us to build the memories together as a family. And it helps us to go through the winter because we're looking forward. Actually, I'm looking forward now to the season. I hope we will be fine this season because last season was disrupted by COVID, by pandemic, and it wasn't fun. But we're looking forward to this season. I hope that it would be better than it was before because we really, really love skiing. And we usually go on the Christmas. We usually go somewhere, uh, Montreblanc or Quebec, uh, closer to Quebec City to have a family fun and we go there for skiing because they have a beautiful resource there and that's just so much fun uh, and we looking forward to it so you kind of expect something out of the season so you have a positive expectations out of season uh, instead of uh, negative you not going through the winter depressed because you have fun it's uh, another uh, season it's another thing uh, that you don't have during summer but you can have this fun during the winter so there's a lot of uh, great uh, outdoor activities that you can do during winter and another great thing that you can look forward to the winter it's a holiday season it's a really fun season I even if you don't celebrate christmas or uh, other holidays it's still a really great season there's a really great uh, atmosphere around saying that i just want to pointed out that winter doesn't have to be boring. Winter doesn't have to give you depression or bad feelings. It could be fun. And uh, as long as you prepared for it, uh, as, you say, as I said before, you have to uh, check your clothes. You have to uh, have a very good clothes. Uh, if you have it, uh, you can have fun outdoor. You can have fun uh, during winter. Even if you are going for a stroll on uh, downtown streets, uh, you still be fine, you still be warm, you still be fine, and it's gonna be fun for you. Um, versus if you have a bad clothes, that could be cold, that could be uncomfortable, and not much fun. I hope this video was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of activities do you do during winter. Uh, any ideas and suggestions would be much appreciated. I, I know people love to read the comments and they can get some ideas, some uh, good thoughts out of uh, comments that you leave in there. So let's have this conversation and I will see you next time. Take care.